Um, and so anyway, he, he was on all these different, he's on all these different medications and he was always in pain. And then last fall, um, a friend of ours told us about Larry. And so I got a hold of Larry. And at the beginning of this journey, I had said to Don, I said, all right, I will go to the top of the Himalayan mountain ranges to find some guru up there to help you. We will do anything we can. And he said, okay. So we have tried a lot of different things. We came to Larry and within like a month, a very short amount of time, Don's pain went from a normal of seven to nine, every, that's just normal daily pain, seven to nine, down to zero to one. Wow. And I saw a huge change in Don's behavior and his attitude toward life. And he was walking taller and straighter. And I could tell that <clears throat> just not having that constant pain was just life transforming for him and for me. And I'll always be grateful. Just from a medical perspective, uh, shingles that causes post-herpetic neuralgia is a permanent condition that cannot be cured and typically does not change in, in pain level and sometimes just progressively gets worse. So the fact that in that short a period of time, um, it was changed and uh, apparently cured by Larry it has no Western medical explanation. So we have to ask Larry, what the heck did you do? <laughs> I talked to Paula about it. <laughs> Here's Paula. I'm Clark. Hello, everybody. She's the woman behind everything else. Uh, here, Paula. Here's the chair. Just a minute. No, I'll get this one. It's okay, Larry. Just I got another one over here. So anyway, I mean that, um, you know, and the same thing's true of the, um, the discussion of the emphysema. That is an incurable, progressive disease. People do not recover spontaneously from that in any way ever and uh, medicine is really has no answer for that those two conditions at all um, so that's nothing short of miraculous uh, mm -hmm. yeah, from a medical standpoint you know I'm surprised the doctors didn't say well I'll be sending you more uh, which you know would have been my response if you were really paying attention to people suffering you would go okay I've got a whole backlog I'll send them right over. But, you know, that just doesn't happen in medicine for mm -hmm. some reason. Um, the skepticism is uh, too great, I think. I'm out of business. If it uh, my, husband, my husband died in May, and he was a cardiovascular surgeon. He smoked. That's not relevant though right now. But <laughs> he, um, so when, when I first found Larry, I had a dog that had... Uh, two tumors in his brain stem that were that this poor dog he was well anyway a miracle happened something happened before larry and uh he was gonna die in three weeks and anyway he lived he i'm not i'm usually not tongue-tied but anyway so we were able to treat that and then when he started you know, not doing well, I'm like, oh, my God. So I found Larry on the Internet. And I was in North Carolina. My husband was back in the woodlands with the dog. His name was Joe Dirt. And Larry started working on Joe. And my husband would call me and say, I can see such a difference in this dog, you know, before Larry, after Larry. And so that was many years ago, and Dan was a 100% believer in Larry. I mean, because then we had we had another dog, Izzy. Then you know, then I would call Larry about stuff about me. Then my sister had a dog with like that was going to have to have a liver uh, biopsy this this summer, and her liver enzymes were just horrible. And my sister did brought her to two different vets, and they're like. Yeah, we really need to do a liver biopsy. And in the meantime, Renee, I had told Renee about Larry, so Larry was working on feed me. And Larry was saying, said, I really, I don't see anything wrong with Phoebe's liver. So Renee brought her in for the biopsy in Nashville, like top of the top veterinarian place. And um, 
And Renee said, I want you to do her blood work before you do her biopsy. Totally normal. Can you believe that? Yeah, I mean, of course we can. That was about a 10-day so ten, anyway, ten period. But I'm just saying my husband was a cardiovascular surgeon and a 100% believer in Larry because he could see, you know. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You almost have to be there. He he did not yeah. apparently he didn't convince very many at MD Anderson. However, no, they would never <laughs> talk about that. At you know. Yeah. Uh,